Bill Pearson of Rannoch. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. Uh, my Lords, the clear position of the Government is that our notice under Article 50 will not be withdrawn. We will be leaving the EU on the 29th of March 2019 and are negotiating to that timeline. We remain on track to deliver the withdrawal agreement and the future framework, ensuring that there is clarity about the terms of our exit and our shared ambition for the future relationship. My, my Lords, I thank the Noble Lord for that reply, which suggests that the Government has not understood the superior strength of our hand in Brussels or, 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 or how to play it. So, my Lords, can I ask if the Government is aware that many states, including the United Kingdom, have unilaterally left international treaties some 225 times since 1945. So why do we feel bound by these clauses of Article 50 when they are being used against us? And my lords, can't, can't even the government um, see that the... This is my second question. Um, my lords, can't, can't even the government see that the Commission's main aim is to keep the EU project afloat, which our successful exit would further threaten. So, my lords, why do we go on? Why do we go on negotiating with, with the Commission? Why don't we try to talk to the real people of Europe, who would benefit far more from the offers in this question than would we? Well, a slightly strange uh, question from the noble lord, because of course, if we withdrew our notice under Article 50, we would remain members of the EU, which uh, the last time I looked at it was not the policy of his party. Um, and uh, therefore, you know, his, his, his other options don't really hold water. Um, you know, we don't unilaterally abrogate uh, treaties in this country. We're a law-abiding uh, nation. We abide by our legal agreements and our legal commitments, and the proper and correct legal way to withdraw from the EU is under Article 50, and that is the process that we are following. The question is from the Noble Lord, Lord Pearson. I would like to know from the Noble Lord, the Minister, whether there has been any progress since Lord Ahmed told my noble friend Baroness Northover last Wednesday. It is important that we review our procedures to ensure that individuals such as Tommy Robinson do not enter the heart of democracy. It was the noble Lord Lord Pearson who hosted this racist Islamophobic character who has multiple convictions to a celebratory lunch. This was after he was released on bail, not, acquit not acquitted from a contempt of court charge as has been referred to the Attorney General which concerns actions which threaten to derail the Huddersfield trials. Can the Minister tell me when we will see action to ban Tommy Robinson from this House, not least to protect House of Lords staff from having to wait on this man? Uh, my Lords, as far as I'm aware, uh, the Government has no policy on the dining companions of Lord Pearson. Um, <laughs> But having said that, the opinions of the House were made very clear, I understand, uh, last week. But ultimately, these are not a matter for the government. This is a matter for the House authorities. Well, 